So after a short ferry trip, we are once again back on the road. Uh, we're going for a little explore around North Uist. Have a look what's going on. Hopefully the cloud lifts because uh, we could really do with some more solar power. Uh, but we've got enough, we just can't do anything too taxing. But yeah, that's us for the next little while. We should be driving around, uh, finding somewhere to stop maybe. I don't know, just soak it up and take it in. Yeah, there's only, what did I say, four or five free camping spots that are on our app for this place. Um, Uist in general, that's north and south. Um, so it might be a case of uh, finding a place, or if we really have to, get in a campsite. But I prefer not to, and just have a nice little explore. We have made our way across the island. We've gone for a bit of a way, haven't we? And we're going to take a little pit stop at the Hebridean Smokehouse. So let's go check it out. we found a local selection of smoked fish, seafood, cheeses, condiments and free samples. So that was quite an exciting trip. That was a Hebedean smokehouse and they've got testers of things that are whiskey barrel smoked and also peat smoked. And I forced them to do an out the budget splurge. We've got some peat smoked scallops. I don't even know who Pete is. <laughs> I'm sure they'll be lovely. <laughs> Anybody that knows anything about anything knows that these are gonna be the dog's Tinky Tinky. If they taste like the dog's Tinky Tinky, <laughs> then that's nine pounds down the drain. Don't tell how much it was. <laughs> Scallops fished in the clear waters of the Outer Hebrides, lightly hot smoked over the island's peat and sliced by hand a naturally sweet and aromatic delicacy. As you can tell, Meg was pretty excited by the thought of having these for tea. The excitement even continued down to the beach at our first camp spot on the Isle of North Uist. So we're moving on up from last night's Dirty Burgers. As you saw, we bought some scallops earlier from the Hebridean Smoke Shop. Is that correct? Smokery. Smoke, yeah. Smokery. And this is Meg's creation for today. Uh, please explain. And here we have on Master Chefs of Great Britain, we have a smoked scallop, beetroot, bacon, and potato salad Whoa. with a homemade Dijon and black pepper dressing. Quite a contrast from yesterday's meal. Please. Yes, it is. Uh, we try and keep it um, balanced here with Flora and the Novice Explorers, but. Um, it's not always possible, is it? But this is posh dindins, isn't it, love? Uh, Pushing the boat out. Oh. Well, a clean plate says it all. That was the perfect meal. Compliments to the chef. <laughs> Well worth destroying the £16 a day budget, although that probably didn't, did it? No. No. Uh, it was a splurge, but we can now say that we've had smoked scallops from the Outer Hebrides, from the Hebridean smoke curry. We can say that, but we might say it with better words <laughs> <laughs> and a bit more fluently. But yeah, that was, uh, that was well worth it, I think. Welcome to Balshare Beach. We took the opportunity to test out the drone and prat about. We pretty much had the beach to ourselves. And this was our evening view and entertainment. This is the beautiful side of van life, the parts you often see on social media, but they're actually quite rare. 
As the sun went down, we took time to appreciate this moment. This is what we had been working towards and saving for and dreaming of. Uh, it's been a lazy morning. We haven't really done very much other than have a bacon sandwich and a big tidy up and just feel a bit lethargic today, but enough of that. The bikes are out for the first time mm. and we're going to do a little bit of cycling. Um, we wanted to keep the van where it is uh, because it's in a perfect spot. Um, we're going to try not to use too much diesel as well. Um, and we need a bit of water, some bread, and some milk, and some sugar. So we're going to go and find a supermarket or just a little village shop, wherever we can find. Um, there's a couple of options, but it's about a 20 minute drive away. So how long that's going to be on a bicycle, we shall find out. I hadn't ridden my bike for quite a while. It felt good to stretch my legs and get the blood pumping. Finally, it was time to unleash the bikes. We couldn't wait to rack up the mileage, fill our lungs with ocean air and explore the Uist in its entirety. We flew across the causeway, wind in our hair, shopping list in hand. Nothing can hold us back. And it was all going a bit too well, wasn't it, love? Yeah, just flying across the causeway. That is now the bridge of doom because Megan has snapped her chain. Now we have no tools. There must be a workaround for this. Be smart. There was no smart option to be found, so we had to return to the van. We will look at fixing the bike uh, when we get back to the mainland, I think just a new chain or the tool to fix the chain. No, I, I was enjoying it. Yeah, it was nice to get out on the bikes to be fair, but um, I mean, it's so rare that the chain snaps like that. And it was funny because you were showing off about being faster than me. <laughs> then it just snapped. <laughs> anyway, tonight's entertainment, I was just about to get rid of this grotesqueness of my face and I got my shaver out and I have realised I've not packed all of the charging equipment. So we are currently unable to do a neat job of it. So the only alternative we've got is a pair of scissors. <laughs> So, John Dern, this is your moment, possibly the first argument, because if it's a crap job, I'm going to get it in the neck, but then it's either scissors, and if it looks really crap, you'll have to bick it. Yeah, well, it can't look much worse than it is now, uh, but this could be interesting. Or I could end up with a slit throat, we'll see what, what sort of mood Meg is in. <laughs> I could take you back to my youth and show you what I uh, Might be the neatest job in the world and it's a bit uh, moustache and uh, soul patch heavy <laughs> but they're a little bit difficult to get rid of aren't they? So big thanks to Meg for uh, dicing me up. No blood was drawn, a couple of uh, pinches here and there but not too bad. What's the verdict? Let me know down below. Oh yeah, what's that? Teddy Ralph thinks you're a knob for leaving the charger at home. <laughs> I thought the same, Teddy Ralph, but you shouldn't say that to him because um, he's sensitive like that. <laughs> Good morning from a glorious... where are we? <laughs> Balsha. Good morning from a glorious Balshare beach. Um, it is a Friday, yeah. Friday today, um, and it is absolutely stunning. I'll show you a quick clip of the sea. The colour of it today is just 
phenomenal, isn't it? It is beautiful, but at the same time, it's quite windy and we can't really get any filming of any <laughs> no. description here other than in the van. So, and another reason we're going to have to move today is we're very low on water. We also need milk and bread and maybe sugar, seeing as though the bike ride into town was a fail yesterday. <laughs> I don't know about that. It's probably about time to move on. It's, it's weird because you get really comfortable in a spot mm. and it feels like we've been here forever and yeah. then suddenly you've got to move it and pack, a, pack your life away again and yeah. move on. But, so we've actually booked now our campsite for four nights, which is going to be quite nice, isn't it? I think because we can just pop, <laughs> depending on the wind, get the awning out maybe, spread out a bit and know that we don't have to move or do anything for four days as facilities. We can a shower! Yeah, we can probably chill out. So we probably won't do much filming or anything because it's just going to be... We'll do a bit. Do we'll, a bit. Show, we'll show the campsite in a good light if it's any good. Yeah. And... Um, a cheap campsite, really, it's £5 per person per night, so £10 a night for us, 40 quid, which isn't too bad, you know. Just over a, a day's budget. Wow. Yeah, I guess Quite so. Bit, but there's showers and stuff, and um, I'm about ready for a shower. Yeah. Got the shopping! <clears throat> Bread, milk, sugar, floss, and I bought some nectarines. Yeah. All the essentials. We're in South Uris now, and uh, yeah. Looking forward to finding our next spot. Only a small bit of damage done from the water waddle. I would rate that uh, 7 out of 10 for success. <laughs> Where would you put that? Uh, I, to be fair, I got wet last time because I accidentally didn't turn it off and it slipped and just went yeah. everywhere. So yeah. it was better than the last time. I did just disrespect you. So did you? should have been simpler. Yeah, you'll see it on the I should have been well. simpler, but that thing weighs a ton when it's full. Yeah. So that's most of the jobs done for today. Um, I know we've probably mentioned it a few times, but the wind is absolutely doing my head in. It makes every job about 10 times harder. Yeah, we just need to find a spot to camp, and then we've got loads of dishes to do because we didn't want to use our water this morning to do them, so that's what our afternoon jobs will be once we finally find our yeah. spot. And we can't have cup of soups until the mugs are washed, so crisps and only crisps for now. Wow, well, what are you going to do, eh? Could be worse. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go find our little spot somewhere and hunker down for the night. Uh, last night on Uist and then ferry tomorrow. Looking forward to it. We crossed over into South Uist and found yet another beautiful beachside camp spot. I dried off quite nicely after the water incident earlier. We have driven to our next stop. Um, I shan't try to pronounce the name, so I'll probably butcher it. So this is where we are currently. You might have seen a few clips already. We have been onto the beach. There's a massive beach, uh, lovely sand. Again, like turquoisey blue water. It's very quiet, which is nice. And we've just settled down for tea. Now, if you've got an old tin of salmon line in the back of your cupboard and you're wondering what to do with it, I have a suggestion. This is one of Megan's specialities. This is tinned salmon burgers. These are delicious and a little bit different. 
Um, it's nice to have. It's a bit of rarity. I don't think I've ever had these before until you made them. Mm. No, I made them at home, didn't I, the first time? Oh, and they were a hit. We got plenty of hot sauce on the top, not going <laughs> to lie. <laughs> Gotta but give it that flavour. A simple and wholesome thing. And it's tinned, so you haven't got to keep it in the cool box. Mm. Winner, winner. Salmon dinner. If you resist... <coughs> <laughs> If you're interested in making these or some of the other foods that we feature in our videos, please head to our blog at www.campcomforts.co.uk. Uh, we've got a travel blog there, but we've also got a section for recipes, which Meg does update as we go. Crane dishes on the road, so you'll find all the information, ingredients, and the how-to there with some pictures as well. We settled down after tea and were treated to another Hebridean sunset. An opportunity we never want to miss. Cal headed down to the beach to capture it. Unfortunately, we suffered another technical mishap and lost some footage. We left South Uist and caught another short ferry to the Isle of Barra. You didn't miss much as it rained a hell of a lot. The only thing you did miss was us witnessing a plane take off from Barra's beach runway, a thing you must do if you visit Barra. Good morning and welcome to our last day at Scurrival campsite. Yeah. Um, the sun has come out today, as you can see behind us, that is the sea, that turquoisey blue colour. It's absolutely amazing today, but we've decided to leave slightly earlier than planned because we've got an eight o'clock ferry tomorrow morning so we're gonna go and go to the ferry port and wait there instead of rushing from here yeah sleep nearer so you can walk there's a beach that just goes the whole way across here all the way to the airport that we showed you yesterday pretty much you can just walk across there there's access like just just over there and it's about a minute walk to the beach it's absolutely stunning today The walk to the airport was longer than we anticipated. We were knackered last night, weren't we? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was a bit further than we thought, but uh, still nice to get out of the van for a few hours. So leaving the campsite is kind of mixed emotions. In a way, we're happy to continue moving on, but in another way, we go back to not knowing exactly where we'll be staying from now on. Uh, but we're both kind of looking forward to it in a weird way. I don't think, I thought the uncertainty was going to be something I didn't like, but no, it's what gives this uh, sort of taste of adventure, I think. <laughs> Having the awning out has been amazing. It's been a place to stay dry, a place to hang out our towels. I went in the sea yesterday um, and just more room. So that's been nice being able to put that up. We thought about putting the awning room up, but three days, it wasn't really worth it. And now we're gonna muck out, which it feels like we do and get ready um, for Oban. Uh, fair few jobs to do in Oban, so I'm quite excited about Oban again. The weather has been fantastic, but unfortunately it's our last day and we are now leaving our little campsite. It feels like we've been here for quite a long time, but I think it's only three nights. The facilities here are quite simple, but it's quite refreshing and really nice to have it that way. Uh, instead of all the mod cons and stuff like that. There's bins, there's showers. Uh, we've had two showers in our three nights that we've stayed here, so we are nice and clean and ready to go. You've got to take these opportunities when you can. We had lunch on the beach just to make the most of it. Uh, took plenty of photos today because this is the weather for the sea to be the most beautiful colour you've ever seen. It doesn't feel like we're in Scotland. We could be in the Maldives, we could be in the Caribbean, it's mad. So as I said, we're making most of the facilities here just before we go. So Cal is filling up our water container. He's a good lad, isn't he? We left Scarville campsite and found a picturesque lay-by for our last night on Barra.
I'm really hoping the weather stays like this because if it does, we are smack bang ahead of where the sun will be setting and it could be spectacular. What are you laughing about? <laughs> I think one thing we're gonna miss the most is being so close to the sea uh, most of the time. It's gonna be difficult once we go into Central Europe and we don't see the coast for a long time, but it'll make it extra special when we do. We managed to have tonight's dinner out on the rocks, which is really nice, but unfortunately, I don't think we're gonna get that sunset I said we might. Uh, the clouds rolled in and it's gone rather overcast. It's a shame, but that's the way it goes sometimes, but um, still a stunning view, which we'll uh, look forward to waking up to tomorrow. Good morning from the ferry port at Castle Bay. It is currently half past six in the morning. Not the time of day me and Meg are usually up and about, but check-in closes relatively soon for the ferry, so we're gonna wait here for a few minutes until we board. We've had a wonderful time in Barra, and the Outer Hebrides as a whole, but I think Barra was our favorite. Mm, I think we had the best weather in yeah. Barra. It's not always down to the weather, obviously, but uh, very chilled out, quiet. Yeah, refreshingly there wasn't very much to do. I think the airport was one of the biggest features of Barra, so we just got to <laughs> chill out really. Thank you for having us on the Outer Hebrides. We've enjoyed ourselves very much. Mm -hmm. But as Meg said, overall a very fun experience. Um, it was just enough time there I think for us, wasn't it? Um, we didn't feel like we rushed anything too much. Um, only a little bit of driving. Um, but some stunning beaches. The scenery over there was absolutely amazing. Couldn't fault it. Join us next time as we return to the mainland and stop off at Glencoe and Glen Finnan Vila. We'd love you to leave us a comment, like and subscribe if you've enjoyed what you've seen. We'd also like to know if you've ever been to the Outer Hebrides.